All right, thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. If you're heading outdoors this evening to a concert or anywhere, it's cool. Take a jacket. 52 degrees. Good news. Wind not as gusty as it's been throughout the day. Sustained winds at 16 miles per hour. Right now, Moorhead has 50 degrees. Mostly cloudy skies, but as we look to the west, we are seeing the clouds starting to break up on um, what's been a very chilly day. 53 right now in Jamestown. Wind still a little gusty for our James River Valley friends, gusting to 35 miles per hour. And temperatures across the region range from 46 Grand Forks, 52 Dallas, uh, Valley City, rather. And low 40s right now for both Bemidji and Wadena. Look at Detroit Lakes, a cool pool right there as well. In the low 40s. Wind speeds, the colors on this map representative of where it's strongest Lake of the Woods County through the Bemidji area and also Lakes Country seeing gusts over 25 miles per hour. And take the James River Valley and that wind swirls through the Cheyenne River Valley down toward the Sisseton Hills as we head into the evening. Those are the windiest spots as it's trying to taper off here in the Central Valley. Here's the storm system swirling its way in that counterclockwise motion over the Great Lakes behind it. Very gusty north winds passing through. We still have that deck of clouds most prominent over our Minnesota counties. We're painting on the isobars, and isobars help us see where the pressure change is greatest. And where that happy happens, it's windiest. So the gustiest of the winds moving into lakes country into wooded areas uh, still going to be quite breezy. But we're starting to see those ice bars get a little farther apart, a little more relaxed, and that's good news for our wind trend. Watch wind speeds as we set things into motion this evening. The sustained winds falling down. The gusty winds decreasing and temperatures in the 40s will remain out over lakes country and quite a bit of cloudiness overnight as well. As we'll see morning temperatures right around that 37 to 42 degree mark region wide and a look at the wind. Four to five miles per hour. We can handle that at the bus stop in the morning a lot better, but crisp nonetheless. Then as we head into our midday hour, lunchtime temperatures will be in those low 50s for many, a little bit warmer in Jamestown and in Ellendale. Other than that, wind from the northwest at five to seven miles per hour. That's more agreeable on the quantity of hairspray you'll need to keep things in order for your day. 66 in the afternoon in Fargo, 65 Jamestown, mid 50s in Lakes Country. Tomorrow evening, cooling rather quickly with dry and clear skies. That's typically the case. So it's going to be some crisp morning temperatures the next several days, including your Tuesday morning, 38 at the bus stop in the Fargo-Moorhead area as you're sending the kids off to school, 57 for their lunchtime recess. And as you're heading home from work, temperatures in those mid-60s will be decreasing into the evening rather quickly into the 50s. By 4 o'clock, we're expecting the warmest weather to the south and west where we'll have abundant sunshine, a little bit cooler with a little bit stronger northwest winds tomorrow in Minnesota, but not horribly strong like today. Boy, the gorgeous colors this weekend shared with us. Steve Jansen near the Fergus area. This is that interstate uh, park area, and look at the gorgeous colors on the trees there. And from right here in the FM area, Juan Garza capturing this on the Red River. I'm imagining many of these leaves, if they're not in Mike Morkin's backyard, are now in South Dakota with all the wind we've had. Here's a look at 65 degrees, so we stay fairly stable on Wednesday. Thursday, wow, look at the morning temperatures, you guys, through the weekend. We're talking upper 20s and low 30s. That's going to be pretty chilly. After sprinkle on Thursday, it looks dry again through the weekend with improving temperatures by Sunday, but no 97 degree readings okay. expected. At least that wind will die down a little bit. Yeah. Well. I'm hoping South Dakota gets a lot more of my Yeah. Race. You have some more to yes. donate. I do. I do. Okay, I do. very good. Thanks. Later in sports, Carson Wentz continues to lead the Bison to success. What Coach Kleiman says stands out most about the North Dakota native. And up next, how long it's going to take for the flu vaccine to help those get their shot.